Hello, my name is Jonathan and I'm a video maker and I give Malwarebytes a 5 out of 5 rating. So I've been using Malwarebytes for the past 9 to 10 years, getting the program originally in 2010 for my PC computer on Windows 7. Ever since then, I've been using it pretty much 3 to 4 times every week, um, essentially looking for any malicious wear, uh, malware I should say, or virus sweeps in general, just to make sure my computer is up to par, there's no issues and there's no viruses coming through. I think it's an awesome program that's been really helpful in my industry and for many others throughout all of the world, essentially, to not only have security on their computer, but to make sure that they're not having any viruses getting into the system that could corrupt their files or data. I love Malwarebytes because it is free to all consumers, and I think that it is a really efficient program to everyone to utilize for, for, for the past 14 years, ever since the program came out in 2006. And it's free by using ads and other types of sponsorship within the program itself, which, albeit might be a bit annoying to some consumers, but I think it's wonderful to have this type of program available for free to everyone to use. Even though I absolutely adore the fact that Malwarebytes is free, the one biggest complaint I have with the program is the fact that they constantly notify me about all their paid versions within the application. So even if they have a lot more available within the program, which is amazing, and you can turn off notifications at any time, every update it still comes through that they'll still have notifications pop up frequently telling you, hey, here's another version. We have a discount for you today. Would you like to get this program up to the scale? I understand they're a business. They're trying to market themselves. They're trying to get it more available to everyone else and have a paid version, but there are ads on the software for a reason. Ads are how they sponsor the program. They get it out there for publication so that people can use it for free on a daily basis, which I think is more efficient than having an option to pay for it. When the features available to pay for are also available through other programs such as AVAS Security for free. So if you have two different versions of programs that are available that do the same exact thing as one that is paid versus non-paid, who, what are you going to choose?